if you guys didn't know, Gallows and Anderson, uh, guys who were like my brothers, uh, were released yesterday. And it, uh, it, that one hurt. That one hurt really bad. Really bad. Um, I mean, it's just like I, the only way I know how to explain it is like these guys are my family and I, I couldn't take care of my little brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's the way I feel about it. I'm the oldest. I'm supposed to take care of them and they, I, I didn't manage to do that. And I feel responsible in some weird way for them being released. Um, and I'm just, it's devastating. It, I don't know any other way to explain it. Like, like, with all the talk about, you know, uh, with WWE being essential uh, television, I, I don't know whether it is or it isn't, but I know that I'm glad to, to be able to entertain. I'm glad to still be able to do my job. I still want to be able to do that. I just don't, I don't understand people who complain about it and, and then go on and, and uh, bury the company for uh, releasing people. Like, you can't have both. You know these these guys. We got to be able to work. That's I mean, we, if you don't work, you can't. Your business can't make money. So you got to be able to do that. I want to be able to work, and I know that there's risks involved, and I got to do whatever I can to make sure that you know, I hopefully don't contract that coronavirus. Like, I, I when they really they got when Gals Anderson got released, I, I just felt alone. You know what I mean? Like, I have friends. I do. Like, we're all friends over there. Great, great people up at WWE. But those guys are with me all the time. We're with each other all the time. And I've never felt more alone than yesterday. And we weren't even together anyway. But knowing that, heck, I'm not even going to, you know, see them. I don't know when the next time I'm going to see them. But I don't think this was easy for anyone. Um to let talent go during this time. I don't think it was. It's, if uh, Gallows and Anderson go to AEW, I, I hope they kill it. If they go to New Japan, I hope they kill it. I'm going to miss them. I really am. I really am. These next couple of years are going to be different, you know? Because ever since I started in the WWE, at least uh, when I first got there I knew Gallows and Anderson were coming and then when we got separated when I went to Smackdown they were on Raw that was a huge blow because I was like oh my god I can't, they blew, I can't believe they broke us up but at least I knew we were there and they were okay and then we got back together and it was unbelievable it was great we had so much fun and now I I don't know it's uh Mm. I, I'm, I, I would assume that most people feel the way that I do right now. Very frustrated and upset, and but we have no, we have no outlet. Like what? You guys are my outlet right now. Just talking to you about everything that's going on. It's like, who do you? What do you do? It just, it's, I feel so helpless right now. I guess there's not much we can do of anything. Well, I, I so TriCloud. Uh, it would be you said it would be cool to see Gallows and or if Gallows and Anderson had a Talk and Shop podcast podcast again, or started a, a YouTube channel. And I think that's exactly what they're doing in the process, hopefully, of getting Talk and Shop up and running. And as soon as they have it up and going, I will let you guys know so you can watch it. There was a we were hoping that our plan was to do. Uh, the podcast on the bus so it'd be you know talk and shop on the bus and you guys would be able to watch live on Mixer uh, talk and shop with me Gallows and Anderson and we'd also find a way to get that onto YouTube and but that was the plan going forward but that got derailed pretty quick now huh